Hi everyone, this is Marcia with OVS and I have a small jewelry, it's not really a jar, I guess a glass to share with you today. Uh, I have a little update. Um, I did reveal this as being marked sterling when I opened it in the last jar or when I found it and brought it out of the last jar. But I did clean it up a little bit with a polishing cloth and I wanted you to see the difference in the silver. I only did like one half of it so you could see this side is much shinier than this one. So when it's all cleaned up it's going to be I think a very pretty piece. And on the caps, there's a, like a sunburst. And if I'm not mistaken, that is um, rising sun, uh, silver jewelry. So anyway, that was a nice find. I am, I'm finding a lot of nice silver pieces in these, um, these jars. So um, let's get into this little one. We purchased this a while back at one of the Salvation Armies in our area. I got this because of one of the watches I saw in here. Uh, I went ahead and I cut it so I wouldn't have to do that on camera. And um, I'm going to dump it and we're going to see what we have inside. But this is right on top. This is what I saw and I thought, well, wasn't bad, and it was only $2.99, $2.99 for this, and um, so I'm not sure this is really worth anything. The crystal is missing from the, the front, and it's probably not a very expensive watch. It's a rubber band. The band is rubber, <laughs> um, but this is what the back looks like, so... But anyway, I know Pokemon was a big deal at one time. I don't know if it still is. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much where I got it. And, and really, for $3, can't go wrong. So that's that. I'm just going to dump this whole thing. And yes, there are some beads. Little beads. So these are some wooden beads. I'm going to throw them right back in. Got several of those. Don't know what they came off of, but there they go back in. A lot of watches in this one, um, but here are a pair of earrings. At, um, it's plastic, but it almost has that look of the, um, the lapis blue with the swirls. So those are kind of nice, I mean, lightweight. Some more of those beads. Just get them right out of the way. Um, we've got this watch. It's almost like a silky band with some rhinestones glued to it. Probably best for a little girl. Do not see any name. Just it just says quartz on the front of that. So we got that watch, and we have another watch. This one, this one is a Timex. And that's the stretchy band. So we'll have to check out, see what batteries are needed to test these out. And see if any of them work. And if they do, it's more than paid for the, the jar at $2.99. And another watch right here. This one is pretty. Uh, I hope that's just dirt on there, but I like this one. It's also a stretchy band, but the band is very pretty. And let's see if this has a this says watch it. So 
that's the brand of that one, but that's uh, that's pretty. And here we have a large leaf, and that is a pen. That's also very lightweight. Here we have a pair of earrings. These are clip. These almost, you'd like to see them, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping them from you. They look like pewter. That's different. Got those. And we have a chain earring. And I only see one. Is this is different? A little spiral. Looks tarnished, so I don't know if that could be silver. But I'll look into that one later. And here we have another pair. Those are nice, nice shapes. Geometric shape. No backs on those. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Uh, now these, they look like they've been handmade. They look very similar, but different. I don't know if they're supposed to be a pair of like the mismatched earrings because they are very similar, or maybe this one's missing one and this one's missing one. But you know what? You could wear them together. I won't tell. <laughs> you know, that's how styles are created. Somebody does something different and it creates a whole new look for everyone. Oh, and this is a, this is a clip earring don't see don't see any marks on that but that is pretty a little rose I don't see another one so I doubt that I would ever pick up a match I never say never but you know the odds of me getting the match to this is probably slim to none but if we don't ever find a match we can always repurpose it and um, use it for something else. Make a pendant out of it, make a brooch out of it. There's always possibility. And here is another pen. This one looks like a ribbon. So we got a ribbon pen. And we have a bracelet. not see any markings on that and it does look a little worn but interesting um, length design oh and this is different this is a post back earring with a drop this almost looks like a bicone shape up at the top and then it has the drop on it, but very interesting shape. But unfortunately, there is only one. So we will have to turn that into something else. And then last in this uh, little jar, we have another watch. Nice bracelet style link watch. Let me see if there's a brand on it. No brand, just says quartz, but that's kind of pretty. I don't know if there's anything on the back. Japan movement. So, I don't know, that's probably most of them, isn't it? I don't know. 
but all in all, it's not bad. So that's one, two, three, four, five watches, a bracelet, two pair, three pair of earrings, couple pins. And these are mismatched, but uh, for such a tiny container, I still think it's quite a bit in here. So anyway, we'll move on to the next jar and hopefully there will be some more goodies in there. So thanks everyone for joining me on this video. Um, thanks for watching in general and um, thanks to all of you that have subscribed. I really, uh, I really appreciate you being here with me. Um, if at um, any time you see something in this video or any other video that I put out, um, if you see anything that is of interest to you, let me know. I can list it on my Bonanza shop and you can go um, through them to purchase if you like. So um, just an option for you. But for now, I'm going to say this is it and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.